Hello everybody. My name's GT Gaming, but I've changed my name to be JTTV. You guys may know me as one of the guys that used to upload a lot of fighting videos from fighters and everything else, but I want you guys to know that yes, I have been gone for a very long time, but I want to let you guys know what's been going on, why I haven't uploaded this, that, and the other, and literally to tell you guys what the plans are for the future of the channel. So I hope you guys are comfortable, and I hope I can borrow some of your time to be able to tell you guys what's truly going on. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to go ahead and say is allow me to go ahead and give you guys some feedback as to why I uploaded. And that rolls back to me going back to the year 2019. 2019, I had gotten into a relationship at a nursing home job of mine with a girl that I had met there who was from West Virginia. Now, do know I Know, do know that I'm not going to be using their actual names for privacy reasons, but it's just the fact that I'm other names and place it up. So we'll say girl A is my ex. So I ended up going and getting with girl A, and surely enough, when I did, I ended up realizing that uh, okay, her family's kind of not on the best side. But for the most part, though, it's the fact that I had sat here, gone, got with her. And I was happy at the time. Yes, me and her were together for almost two and a half years, which has been my longest relationship. But what I did not realize, though, was all of the taxing stuff to come along with it. Because I ended up going, and not only did I get myself by getting myself a better car at the time, but also because of her, I ended up tacking on a lot for her. As in only forty-four thousand dollars in debt, almost. And for the most part, I had ended up making the mistake of staying with her. Not only that, going on so much because of her, I also ended up going and losing one of my vehicles, and I also ended up going and, as bad as this for me to say it, ended up going through three places of housing in a span of two years. I was happy in my own little one-bedroom apartment that I had, and because of her, I ended up losing that. I ended up losing damn near the best things that I had in my life. I didn't have a really good relationship with my family right off, but at the same time, though, it also didn't help that she came along and made things a little bit more difficult. But for the most part, though, I did end up going and moving out of my small, small little one-bedroom apartment into a place that is much, much bigger. And when I I ended up I had some roommates, I ended up going and having to do living and one not only moving out of but getting to living with two near thought roommates girl B and guy A who ended up going and kind of screwing everything because not only did she kind of restrict when I was with my friends, it didn't really justice because I had people that I was actually happy on a daily basis on PlayStation. 
I could be bored out of my mind and hit them up like, hey, what are you doing? You bored too? Cool. You want you to go? All right, cool. Get to her, I literally that I was very much good with. And when I did, nothing made it any better. It, it just made everything difficult. I have motivation to make YouTube videos. The reason why the last video I posted up says it was from a year ago, but it feels like it's been almost two years. And that was with my boy Randy, who doesn't have a PlayStation anymore sadly to say but for the most part though i actually do enjoy looking back he was he was my first real friend on fire all the little thing of him goku's and I still ended up connecting with them. And surely enough, I ended up making a damn good friend who I can also call a brother. But even then, I still have friends and family that I go and I talk to on a regular basis now that I've got to actually sat there and talked to them. They've understood everything that in my life. And she went you are my brother I will always love you but you need to do what is right for you and make yourself happy and when I did that I, it actually and me and break up it was she was selfish ended up having to go and when I did that I ended up having to go to move in from West Virginia back to my home state of Virginia and when I did that she felt stupid because I kept trying to tell her we shouldn't have moved we shouldn't have moved we just stayed in Virginia where we were com like completely and utterly taken care of and we could have just found another place there but no, that's when she ended up realizing that I was right, she was wrong, and everything else kind of just fell into place. Getting into the end of 2021 at that point, that's when everything slowly started to take a bit of a turn for the worst because I ended up going, getting a job, working at a bowling alley that I actually ended up enjoying making friends at. And when I did... Surely enough, I ended up going and making a damn good friend. And when I did, sure as shit, I ended up going and he told me, hey, look, if anything ever happened, you can always come room with me. And so I did. And when I did, it was a bit of a transition. But for the most part, though, it was actually well worth it. And now here it is, 2022 everything is so much better in my life yes i'm still trying to work on catching down on some of my debt but for the most part it is exactly it is what it is at that point so yeah now on to the present here at 2022 till now i go and me you know, and we go we split up my roommate, which is guy B, he ended up going and telling me, she's like, all right, look, I know it's a very tough situation that you're in right now. I get it. You're probably going to be a little out of it. 
But for the most part, though, we, you just got to tough out. You just got to tough through it a little bit, and you will be able to get back on your feet no time soon. And so, yeah, I ended up going and hearing him tell me that, and, yeah, it was very much a true statement. Yeah, I got back on my feet. I got back into the mood of actually wanting to do stuff to actually go hang out with people. And, yeah, even though it was some of his friends, they took a liking to me. I was still kind of in the depressive state of being so invested in a relationship for so long and then I ended up going and losing it but hey we have to literally we have to go and we have to let go just to <laughs> boost our color our character development so it is what it is with that and surely enough though I cannot complain I went was getting some of my stuff out of the hotel room that we were staying in and when I did I sat there, gave my ex, not the current one, but an older ex that I still kind of had feelings for. I went, I called her, and surely enough, B ended up going, and she sat there, talked to me on the phone, helped calm me down when I was having a bit of a panic attack, because I don't know if anyone ever really noticed, but I do suffer from depression and I do suffer from anxiety. It runs in my family deeply, and honestly, it's something that I'm still trying to cope with and still trying to deal with. But thanks to Girl B, I ended up going, and I'm slowly but surely breaking out of having to deal with that because I actually have someone that will be willing to listen. But I ended up going and getting my stuff, ended up going back to guy b's house and surely enough he ended up going he's like hey look if you ever need anything i'm here just know that yeah we'll go we'll give you a little bit of time to get yourself back on track get yourself feeling okay and then you just go and you just pay us a little bit you came for rent and i said okay i'm fine i could live with that so time goes by me and girl b we're sitting here talking and here it is 2022 in February and I'm just like hey what are you doing next week like and do know that this was the week of Valentine's Day I literally went and I told her so how would you feel if I came down to see you best thing that I ever could have done I do not regret it even to this day it was the best damn thing that I really could have asked for she has been a prized possession to me and I've so stupid for letting her go the first time and I loved every single minute of it but for the most part though I go I get on a plane I come down here spend time with her it was just a complete and other fantastic time that I spent that week down here and when I went back up to Virginia I said you know what I'm actually really happy down there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm going to make a plan to buy me a plane ticket save up my money and i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna move her it was very much a right decision because at that point when i actually did want to go and actually do things she was there beside me telling me hey this is what you can do this is where you can go and you can still be safe this that and the other and honestly and truly appreciated that because she actually looked out for me but at the end of the day though i still I still loved it. I very much did. And now I'm sitting here with her. I'm sitting in here with another one of my, like another roommate of ours who's actually a YouTuber as well. He doesn't post very much, but he's still a YouTuber as well. You guys may know him. He's, I've probably mentioned him a couple of times in some of my past videos and older videos. Uh, he is the SSJ. He's a goofy guy, still kind of bit on the stubborn side and still kind of not wanting to listen to when people try to help him out thinks he can do everything sometimes but it is what it is we all have to learn from our mistakes and have to learn things from time to time so it is what it is with that but for the most part though i go i'm living here with them it's been a fantastic time when i was here with that week and when i say i never thought i'd ever meet so many cool people like to give you guys a general example it went from just being guy a and guy b 
to now it's I would have to add maybe like a whole nother side to a freaking alphabet just to tell how many people I've met but at the end of the day we'll use two more people as prime examples we have girl C and we have guy C those are girl B's best friends and when I say that they they treated me like I was their family I literally never thought in a million years that I would ever have people who actually cared that much about me like they even told me before I even left guy C sat there and he looked at me and says like hey I'll say when you go back just know this is your home and all you doing is taking a vacation and then you coming back you coming back home in a few months don't worry you'll be all right and no he's like yes he's japanese but he's he's japanese and american so do know that he's he's cool with people but he's goofy as fuck and when i say this guy is the definition of fucking awesome he's every girl has introduced me to has been fucking awesome and i cannot complain about it but yet here it is 2022 I go, I get me a job, I've been working there for a hot while now, and I cannot complain, like, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it, so, I just want you guys to know that, yes, I will be going and trying to make more videos, yes, I am going to try to come back into the YouTube recording scene, yes, it might be a while before I stream again, but I'm still down for almost anything it's just yes i'm struggling a little bit trying to go and make ends meet but at the same time i'm doing what i can so if you guys can be patient with me i'll be happy to bring you guys some more content i'll be happy to bring you guys some more videos i just need like i said i just need you guys to be patient with me but for the most part though yes i am going to be bringing you guys some more clips and some more videos it may honestly be a little bit of time because i am planning on trying to get a desktop computer to actually like legitimately go and record and bring you guys some actually good edits and a whole bunch of other stuff but i just need you guys to be patient with me there so for the most part though I want you guys to know that I love you guys dearly. You guys are the main reason why I kept doing what I was doing back when I uploaded on a damn good basis. I want you guys to just know that I will always care about you guys. You guys are my fan base. Yes, I know it's been a while. And yes, I am deeply sorry for not giving you guys this video as to what the hell has been going on with me. And I am so sorry about that. But for the most part, though, I just want you guys to know that, yes, I'm going to try to upload at least once a week. It might start off slow, probably like a video or maybe a clip or two every week, two weeks. But that's just because I'm trying to get back into it because of my anxiety and everything else. But I hope you guys can understand. I hope you guys really and truly can be patient with me until things get back on a full roll. And like I said, I'm just glad to be back. I'm glad to have you guys possibly supporting me. I know you guys probably don't remember much about me, but I will even be willing to go as far as to do a Q&A just so that way you guys can re-get to know me and everything else. But for the most part, I'm JT Gaming, formerly known as, but from now on, you guys can call me JT TV. And I want you guys to realize you guys are my audience and I love you guys dearly. So I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, don't change that channel. Have a good day. And you guys stay safe. Peace out.